Systemic lupus is a chronic inflammatory disease. Uh, it's an autoimmune disease. So basically, the immune system starts recognizing parts of somebody's own body as foreign and starts attacking them. Uh, it doesn't have any cure, so it generally is lifelong. So it mostly affects uh, women of reproductive age. Uh, it's most common in uh, African Americans, followed by Hispanics, Asians, and Caucasians in the United States. It can occur uh, later in life, but the classic uh, dogma is that it's females of reproductive age. It's ten times more common in women. It can have varied presentations. Uh, since SLE can attack any part of the body, everybody can present in a different pattern. What they go through depends on what kind of lupus they have. Some patients will have a much more severe disease where they develop kidney, lung, or brain involvement. Some patients will have mild disease, mostly with rashes and joints. Occasionally you can tell what kind of lupus they will have based on their serological profiles. And some autoantibodies may signify a higher risk of some subtypes of lupus. But in general, it is a chronic disease that can flare from time to time. So patients can do very well between these flares. In general, they may have an average of one or two flares a year. And during those flares, Again, depends what the disease is attacking, but they can be disabled. They may miss days of work. It may affect their family life. Um, it can affect their uh, functional ability to do uh, activities of daily living. So whenever those flares occur, we need to approach them judiciously and treat them.